Hello, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do light painting photography using sparklers. This is a really fun tutorial. It's really easy. You can do it on fireworks night or New Year's Eve celebrations or anything like that. Take the camera to one side, follow these instructions and you're gonna get some really good light painting drawings. I have also made a light drawings guide that you can download and keep and you can have it with you and it'll help you out when you do the shots, you can download that. At the end of this video, I'll tell you how to get it. Hello, I'm Mark Newton from the School of Photography and you can find us at theschoolofphotography.com where we teach you the best in photography education. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to show you how to do light painting photography using sparklers. It's really, really easy. Firstly, you're gonna need a tripod. Obviously, you're gonna need a camera. Just use your normal standard kit lens, which is fine to use. And then here's the settings that you need to set it on. Firstly, you need to set your camera onto its manual mode. We're gonna work fully manual for this. Set your aperture to f22, set your shutter speed to 15 seconds, and set your ISO to 100. Also set your white balance to daylight. Sparklers have got this lovely orange glow to them that I really like. So if you put your white balance onto daylight, you're gonna capture them colors realistically. So I always like to do that. It's a bit of a personal thing, but I think it's really good. Then you set your shot up. So let's do that bit now. Now this bit might get a bit difficult because your camera will find it really hard to focus in the dark and obviously we can only take these pictures in the dark so this is what you have to do you have to set your shot up and frame it all up nicely so that your person who's going to have the sparkler is in the middle of your frame and you need to focus on them and then switch your camera to manual focus and that way the camera's not going to be focusing in and out and in and out it's going to keep that focus point because you're on f22 you've got loads of what's called depth of field so it doesn't matter if they walk a meter in front or a meter behind it's still going to be pin sharp okay so you can use a torch to get your focus point if it's too dark and then you flick the camera to uh, manual focus here we go there's my torch and, and there we go now I've got the focus I've got the focus I could turn that off and then I'm going to switch my lens to manual focus on my lens here I just flick it to manual focus and I'm away to take the shot the sparkler's being lit the tension is high the sparkler's lit now I'm going to hit the exposure nearly 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 we nearly got it we nearly got it you're gonna to have to do it a couple of times anyway but that's part of the fun let's light another sparkler here we go exposure's going ah oh, that one's nice that one worked out really well actually good stuff here we go for another one go nice little cheesy one for us Okay, the only limit there is your imagination. We've just done some really silly examples there, but you can imagine how far you can take it. Them settings are the settings you use to do light painting with sparklers. You set that up, all you need is a dark space with them settings and you're away. I would love to see your examples of light painting with sparklers. If you want us to see them, upload them to Facebook or Instagram and tag us in at the School of Photography One. If it's on Facebook, make sure your post is public. We will try our very best to feedback on your shots. We can't get round to everyone all the time, but we always, always try our best. If you've liked this tutorial, please press the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Follow us on social media and join our learning community. Thanks for watching and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.